Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. Till now, whatever the problems we done, in all those problems, we calculated general solution of given differential equation by using variable separable method. But in this problem, we are going to learn how to find particular solution of a given differential equation by using variable separable method. In examination, the question they will ask like this. Find particular solution of the differential equation dy by dx equal to y into tan x. Whenever they ask particular solution at the time they will mention the values of x comma y. Here they given that y equal to 1 when x equal to 0. To find the particular solution of given differential equation, first we will find the general solution as usual like earlier problems. First we will separate x variable dx, y variable dy and then we will integrate, then we will get the general solution in third step. Once you got the general solution, in the general solution we will substitute x value, y value and we will find the value of c. And this c value we will substitute in general solution only. You will get more clarity on this, you please watch this video till the end. The question is, they are asking to find the particular solution of the differential equation. First, I will find the general solution and then I will find the particular solution. You see here this dx I will take to this side and this y I will take to this side. Then what you will get? You will get that here y take it to this side 1 by y into dy equal to tan x into dx. Right? You can observe here all x terms dx written at one side, all y terms dy written at one side. That means this step 1 is over, x variable dx, y variable dy is separated. In step 2, we integrate this on both sides. So you just integrate this on both sides. Integral of 1 by y into dy equal to integral of tan x into dx. We know this formula in integration. Integral of 1 by x dx. Direct formula is there. What is integral of 1 by x dx? That is log x base e plus c. Integral of 1 by y dy. Here the function is in terms of y. We are integrating with respect to y. So you can write it as log y base e equal to integral of tan x dx. This formula also we learn in integration formulas. What is integral of tan x dx? Integral of tan x dx is log mod secant x plus c or you can write it as minus log mod cos x plus c also. I will go with this log mod secant x plus c. So integral of tan x dx is log mod secant x plus c. What happened here? I calculated general solution of given differential equation up to step 3 is over. But in this question they are asking find the particular solution of the differential equation. To find the particular solution first we will calculate general solution. In the general solution you substitute given x value y value to find the value of c. Now I will substitute this y equal to 1 x equal to 0 in this general solution. Substitute what you will get log y. What is the value of y they given? They given the value of y as 1. In place of y I written 1 into log mod secant x. What is x? They given in the question that x is 0 secant 0 plus c. In logarithms chapter we know that log 1 base c value is 0. Okay. Equal to we know that secant 0 value is 1. So plus c. Okay. So 0 equal to modulus of 1 is nothing but 1 only. So this is log 1. What is log 1 value? Log 1 value is 0. So from this, what is the value of c? The value of c is 0. Don't think that for every problem we will get this value of c is 0. Luckily we got c value 0 here. So for this particular x value, y value, we got c value is 0. What is the question? We need to find the particular solution of given differential equation. First we will find general solution and then we will substitute x value, y value in the general solution. We will get the c value. You substitute this c value in the general solution only. Then you will get the particular solution. Here I will write the final conclusion. Therefore, therefore the particular solution of given differential equation is you observe the general solution. You observe this general solution. In this general solution, I will substitute this c value. That's it. Substitute what you will get. Uh, log y base e equal to log mod secant x plus c value is what? c value is 0. No need to write here. However, 
plus 0 i written. So what is this? This is the particular solution of given differential equation. To avoid the confusion in solving differential equation, you please avoid test book answer. Why? Because from person to person, the answer seems to be different. But actually, all the things will give the same meaning. So to avoid confusion in differential equations, please avoid test book answers. You remember one point, in particular solution, we don't get plus C at the end. In general solution only, we will get this plus C. Now, we will try to understand about this particular solution of a differential equation with one more example. What to find in this question? Find the particular solution of the differential equation cos of dy by dx equal to a when uh, y equal to 2 when x equal to 0. As we discussed in previous problem, to find the particular solution, first we will find the general solution. After finding the general solution, we will substitute this x values, y values in the general solution to find the value of c. Once we find the value of c, we substitute this value of c in general solution. What is step 1? In variable separable method, you need to remember three steps. One is x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated. So I will try for that first. What I will do, I will take this cos to this side. Then what you will get, you will get that dy by dx equal to cos inverse of a okay now what i'll do all x terms at one side all y terms i'll write at one side i'll take dx to this side what you will get dy equal to cos inverse of a into dx here you need to observe one thing what is this cos inverse of a? As a is constant, cos inverse of a is a constant. You can observe here dy term is at one side and dx term is at one side. That means this x variable dx, y variable dy is separated. That means step 1 is over. Once step 1 is over, we will go through the step 2. What is step 2? We integrate on both sides. You integrate this on both sides. Integral of 1 dy. 1 into dy is nothing but dy only integral of cos inverse a into dx okay we know this formula in integration integral of k dx is kx plus c here k is constant integral of 1 dy is what integral of 1 dy is y as we know that we'll write plus c on any one side i'll write plus c always in the right hand side equal to here cos inverse a is also constant so integral of k dx is kx plus c so integral of cos inverse a dx is what that is cos inverse of a it is constant into x plus c i'll write on any one side that i written right hand side what is this this is the general solution of given differential equation but what is the question find the particular solution of this differential equation okay to find the particular solution i'll substitute this x value y value in this general solution substitute in place of y you write 2 equal to cos inverse of a is constant cos inverse of a into x they given x is 0 plus c so what you will get here 2 equal to cos inverse of a into 0 is 0 only 0 plus c is what 0 plus c is c so we got the value of c once you got the value of c you see step 4 find the value of c once we got the value of c this c value you substitute in the general solution substitute in the general solution then you will get the particular solution okay now i'll write that step therefore particular solution of given differential equation is you just substitute c, c value in this general solution then what you will get y equal to cos inverse of a into x plus c what is the value of c the value of c is 2 to avoid the confusion in solving differential equation you please avoid test book answer why because from person to person the answer seems to be different but actually all the things will give the same meaning so to avoid confusion in differential equations please avoid test book answers